Well, have you ever seen a first quarter like that, and, and how much did that propel you to victory? Oh, a lot, especially because it's senior day. I mean, we came out with a lot of energy. James, shout out to him for uh, proposing to his his soon-to-be wife, and uh, just gave us a lot of energy. We we're just trying to have fun today, and uh, having fun just results in games like this. Some of the most dominating performances you've had since you guys have been here. Oh yeah, I mean definitely. Uh, all week we've been, you know, trying to remember what happened to us last year uh, up at Gardner Webb, and we definitely used it uh, this game to drive us and, you know, just not to let up, not take them lightly, and that's what we did today. Had that long 80-plus yard run. Did you think you were going to hit pay dirt? <laughs> uh, uh, it was a big run, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. The whole time I was praying on my way there, just, please don't get caught from behind. I'm not a, you know, I'm typically not a guy that just breaks away from everybody, but uh, I'm good for about. 50, 60, and, you know, and it starts dying out a little bit. But I was hoping that one, yeah, I would break away. But I'll take what I can get. How about the way you guys have run the football here these last two weeks? It has to feel pretty good. Hey, we're definitely starting to, you know, pick up our offense. And I think this is a, the right time to be doing it, especially uh, leading into Liberty and uh, just trying to finish out the conference and, you know, basically see what happens after this and, you know, hopefully still get picked for the playoffs. Pick, pick six for you, your second touchdown in your career. It's got to feel pretty good. It's awesome. I mean, I can't thank, you know, Gabe enough. Gabe was kind enough to help me out and hit the quarterback and went right into my hands. And so once it did, I just took off. And, you know, it, it felt awesome, um, especially being my second one. So. Jamie said uh, the game last year against Gardner had probably a little bit more motivation than maybe he let on this week. Just talk about that, I guess. Yeah, it's been all week just trying to tell everyone, you know, they took something away from us last year that we really wanted. So we want to come out this week just pumped and just ready to, you know, um, get some redemption is what we've been talking about all week. So that was good. You probably don't, don't think too much big picture, but, but for you guys having been here through the struggles and then to have a second straight winning season now, 17 wins these last two years, do you think at all about what you guys have been able to do these last couple of years? Yeah, I think about that a lot, and I'm just trying to pass that on down to some of the younger guys to keep that culture kind of, the winning culture, you know, hopefully down the road. Um, I mean, we know what it's like to lose a lot, and it, you, ne you never want that feeling. So hopefully, you know, these guys you know, don't get satisfied and keep working hard to get these wins. You get uh, Liberty next week, another chance to, to exercise some demons from last year too, I guess. Definitely. That's a game that's been circled um, on my calendar for a while. So we just want to go back and go up there and play really well and just take it to them and, you know, play the best that we can play and, you know, see what happens. So. This is about our, our kids uh, and the things that they went through, especially seniors, that what they've done. Uh, it means a lot to them because they can leave out here with all-time wins in one season, back-to-back -back win a season, 17 wins over a two-year period most ever. Uh, they've got a lot to be proud of. And um, regardless, you know, whether you, you, know, you win or lose, they, they're, they're the type of kids that you want a son. And I'm proud of them and the character they've played all the way through this. And uh, it's, it's more about them. There's, you know, there's obviously a ton of chips have to fall a ton of ways, but, but at least, you know, the, the playoff uh, glimpse, I guess, could be in the eye, and, and just talk about what this did, and especially confidence-wise, just heading where you have to go next week up the win streak. Well, uh, confidence-wise, you know, you come off, a, come off a, a road trip last week and played pretty well, and then a, a nemesis for you here, a team that, uh, you know, took something from you last year to come out and play the way we did is big, and it gives you, you know, it gives you an opportunity. You know, we've not talked about that far away. Uh, we just talked about let's get back to playing our football, but we put ourselves in position. If we can go up there and get a victory, you don't know what happens. You know, we'll be eight and three, and uh, you know, and only two losses in the FCS if we can get that one. So we like our chances as far as if we can get to that point. Liberty's really good, so uh, we got to worry about them first. But uh, there's a glimmer of hope, and uh, if you have hope, you got you got a lot of things you can look forward to. Big day for uh, Theodore, and he's really given you a nice dimension in the passing game his last couple weeks. Yeah, I wish we had him early. You know, he, he's given us a good target, uh, and uh, you know, his, he's documented missing the first six games. And to his credit, uh, he swept the locker room. He did laundry. Uh, he was on scout team for six weeks, and when he's came back, uh, he's made the most of these last few games. And uh, he's been an unbelievable uh, addition for a receiver core because of the injuries we've had. But really, just his presence, he's calmed down some of those young guys. Uh, and he's had the last two weeks some big games. Really, the last three weeks had some big games. You get Liberty next week. Just uh, what's it like preparing for, obviously, a really good Liberty team again? Well, you know, it's it's a it's a huge challenge. They're, they're so much more physical uh, than anybody in our league. They're, uh, they, they're, the, the schemes they do, sorry, but the schemes they do are, are, are hard to defend because they're so much bigger and stronger. So we're going to have to play our best game, no doubt. I mean, if, if uh, we're going to have to play above our heads, and, and 
we'll hope that they're overlooking us to coast. That, that, that's the chance we got, but we have that chance. The kids are confident going up there, and we'll go up there and roll the dice. You got a 50-50 chance, right? So uh, we like our odds.